All right, Mark Millett from Solar World here, trying to keep you guys updated on all the things that we do. Uh, here are six grow watt, 6.5 ES, uh, 5,000 watt inverters. They are running in corresponding with each other with these 12, or in tandem with these 12 batteries sitting here. Each row basically is uh, lined up to the inverter itself. Uh, inverter five and six over here are off right now because it is there for extra power output for things of the uh, welder and things like that for that extra 240. So uh, we're doing a maintenance check right now, just making sure that all the system is up and running well. Uh, we come here this morning and it had an 04 code, basically just stating that the battery was at 20%. So, you know, of course the air conditioner, things like that are uh, on throughout the night and we have not had a great amount of solar production. So we are here this morning to basically flip the switch for one of the first times uh, to the grid supplement aspect of this application coming in from grid powering the inverters and charging uh, in corresponding with solar itself uh, we are uh, right now building a, a, a protective wall uh, we are going to put two doors here that swing out one and two and then basically enclose all this uh, it's a wood shop in here so we want to try and keep all those little fine particles out of here uh, over here we have the 100 amp transfer switch easy transfer switch by generac uh, what uh, makes it easy aspect is, I don't know the terminology for it, but it is this uh, switch handle right here that allows ease of access to go up and down. We have the system running directly on a 100 amp service. Uh, this will supply 120 amp surge. We are running for the inverter, so that's about 80% of this load right here. Uh, we have PV1 and 2 coming in. Go ahead and wait for a second. So, PV1 operates inverter one and two, and then PV2 operates uh, inverter three and four. We do not have enough solar supply, again, for these bottom inverters. These are just made for power output only. We do have the two transformers sitting here, 7,250 watts each, uh, max power output, but 5,000 stable, L1, L2, making a neutral ground and bonding uh, uh, to the panel. Panel is fully loaded. We took a lot of the loads coming off of the system here and transported them down here, as well as all power output for all the inverters and so forth. So, uh, this energizes basically the transfer switch, and then, then that goes out to the house. So, each one of these uh, corresponding breakers are each uh, power output, and then transformer one and two. So, we got inverter one, two, three, four, and then transformer one and two. Pretty easy. All right. Anywho, I'll keep you updated on the operations in about a year or so. This has been in operations for about a year so far. We're just doing a maintenance check.